love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. And uh, these are days of blessings uh, that that's going to come. So welcome to story time, story time of love, and uh, this is the Kingdom Age hope uh, come alive, new hopes spring.、Uh, Jesus in His Word says, "And a new thing shall I do." This is it. It's called the restoration of His Word that Acts three twenty one foretold. So、uh, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. And、uh, I pray that this will edify you, and that's what it's all about. Is we need edification of love, and with that, we all just got to be as little children again, and we got to grab our own little Mickey and Minnie, and we gotta we gotta be as little children because everybody has always loved. So the the fast falling fire of love is coming forth. And、uh, is it's it's as a blazing living water that's a, a burning for over all flesh as he's pouring it out, and may it burn everything down exactly as it's foretold to do, according to the word of God. And by the way, I,、uh, this is just a hat that I wear, and this is my love hat. But it's time for everybody to let their.、Uh, Main down, the roaring lion of Zion roars. The decree: He don't want no more、uh, sheep. He wants a pride. That's a family of lions, and he's the roaring lion of Zion, and he wants a pride. So let your main down. Stand tall in love, and know that you will never be judged by him ever in the judgment day. This is a total misunderstanding of the word of God, and if He judged us in the judgment day, then He would be a liar, because He says in Jeremiah thirty-one, verse thirty-three to thirty-five, He says, "I shall forgive your iniquity, and I shall remember it no more." So if He remembers it, He's a liar. Then religion hasn't even been worth even thinking about. No faith. And spirituality is very good.、Uh, religion can and has been very bad.、Uh, Bill Murray said that religion is the worst thing in this world. It's caused more bloodshed than anything else, and 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 he's a hundred percent right. And、uh, so it's it's time to move move along along to new understandings. And、uh, so let me back up here. So it's it's time,、uh, and may that fire now burn down everything exactly as it's foretold. The、uh, Zechariah five four foretold this fire as the flying scroll of love in Zechariah five four from our Lord of Hosts that would come in the end days that would be end up burning up the internet for the next thousand years. So once again, the the word of love, the Lord Almighty declares this by His word of prophecy. He says, "I am sending it out, this flying scroll of Zechariah, and it shall enter." And I'm reading the book of Zechariah. It'll enter the house of the thief and the house of anyone swearing falsely by my name of love, and then it will remain in that house and spiritually destroy it completely. Both its timbers and its stones. So I'm sitting here with my love hat on, so everyone will join that club, because our good shepherd wants everyone of us to come unto him exactly as we are. He loves us exactly as we are, and there's no condemnation over anyone. We are all as、uh, so individual,、uh, with not one being like、uh, another, except for twins. So even、uh, even if Santa had Santa, we missed Santa last year. But even if he、uh, came and only gave you coal this year, don't even worry about it, because his boss is our Lord of Love, who is prepared to turn all of our coal into the most shining, glittery diamonds for us all, spiritual diamonds, so everyone can become as little children again, and. All such beautifully wonderful things 
of his great restoration, it is beyond our own amazement and understanding. And it, 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 it transcends all that we have known. And Mickey says, yay, boy, this is a good story so far. So all these things are good things that I'm talking about. And it's all coming directly from Christ's unconditional love for all people of love. This is therefore the fullness of the great generation and the times of refreshing that Peter the Apostle foretold in Acts 3.21 so that our Lord of love can finally return. Hey, we're one step closer, people. And all of this and much more and many more surprises await everyone along the way of that carpenter of the ages unsealing his former hidden love exactly as the book of Revelation has foretold. So arise and shine, his most glorious light of love has finally come as the prophecy of the vision of Habakkuk 2. King James has manifested. I am one even transgressed by wine. The just shall live by my faith anyways, even though my soul has not been upright. Make sure you look up King James or the Jewish Bible. Everyone else didn't think that uh, the world could ever get anything from a foolish alcoholic. But God chooses the foolish things of the earth to confound the wise. And that's why he had me riding by a lamp for about seven, eight minutes one time never plugged in way far away and it uh, freaked me out and i've had open-eyed visions on several occasions uh, the the wind of uh, the breath of god blew upon me and then i wrote for 20 years if you don't believe me uh, google my name daniel f owsley o-w-s-l-a-y and you can see uh, some of my 200 books that i've written as practice so he uh you know we're he spoke to my heart that I was to study to show uh, myself approved done to him. So I, I read everything in history that I could about uh, love. And uh, the conclusions that he's brought to me still spin in my head around. I couldn't foresee it. I was brainwashed and religious just like many are. So the vision of Habakkuk is manifesting and the penetrating rays of our arising hope of love shall now destroy all gross darkness, exactly as Isaiah 60 and Daniel 12, 7 foretold, so that the shattering of the power of the holy people comes by the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. And that's the cause of the how the Son of Love arises with healing in his wings for the world is by the realization that God was smart and he addressed his new covenant, which has always been the kingdom age new covenant. He addressed it correctly to Israel and all mankind. And he said in the last days he would be the God uh, of uh, Israel. Uh, and if he is not, then he would be a liar. Uh, I've got 100% correct I would not believe the Lord unless you, he gave me a miracle. I want the fleece wet, the ground dry, just like Gideon did. If you're telling me all this stuff and you're wanting me to go forth and battle in the harvest and be a reaper and uh, all this good stuff, it's like, prove it to me. So he did. He uh, provided the electricity for a, um, a lamp that I was writing a letter to a minister who actually told me, hey, this is you in Isaiah 49. You're the one... Uh, sharp tongue and uh, I'm the arrow uh, the Bible says in Isaiah 49 that, that Christ is going to use on, on, on the white horse of Revelation 6 he has a long, long bow for me and he foretold me uh, to come to restore all things by his word alone restoring his own word with no unlawful additions of mankind that changed the word of God and gave it a total opposite meaning so if people don't understand what I'm saying, I suggest you listen to some more of my materials because it's pretty easy to understand. But you know what? All the evidence in the world uh, is useless for those that don't want to believe. It don't matter how much uh, I give people. And I don't know how what I am giving the world, how anyone could deny it. Uh, I'm connecting all the dots in prophecy and it all makes sense and it's all true. 
But for those uh, that uh, want to believe, absolutely no proof is even necessary. If you're uh, a, 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 an individual with a heart for love, no proof of what I'm saying is really uh, uh, an issue because it's common sense. If, if, if we're going to have a kingdom age of love and peace, well, it better start. I am Elijah, the third one. And we could get the first one back, too, as one of the two witnesses. There's some confusion uh, there, but uh, I am not one of the two witnesses. So uh, our rising hope of love will destroy all gross darkness as it streams all over the circle of earth like gushing rivers of his best encouragement in a desert that has had no living water falling for almost 2,000 years. And now comes a deluge of his word reopened anew. I am the Elijah of Christ's prophecy of Matthew 17, 11. Daniel, the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who embraces my destiny, it says, as the last Elijah. And I am restoring all things by love, who goes before me as a dawn of healing for all hurting hearts. And I am the Daniel who was foretold to embrace that destiny as his latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. I've redundantly said that a couple times. I'm hoping it will stick in someone's head. And I'm now arising with the spirit of Daniel, so all end-time prophecy can finally be understood and embraced as being gospel, as it truly is. Uh, there's been a veil ripped across and uh, all the writers of the Bible were in on the mystery of God. There was a, a, a veil, a cross. And the, quite, quite frankly, it had to be, in my opinion, I think because we probably would have had ages of Caligula if people understood the unconditional love of God. Fear of God came first. And yes, it did cause a distortion of false God of love to come forth, but uh, in, in, at the same time, uh, it, it kept the world from maybe possibly having an even worse future than we've had. That's, that's very highly probable. So sit back, get ready, and get ready for the awesomeness of love un unbounded within this video. Uh, the promise of love is alive, and by proper understanding of prophecy herein, I will now be unlocking knowledge that will inflame the hearts of billions for our returning Prince of Peace. So get ready to blast off to higher heights than anyone has ever been able to go before as the spirit of prophecy now unfolds his most, the love's most perfect seven laws of love that shall spring forth evermore in the hearts of of uh, all loving people who loves his greatest desires of oneness, that we should be one as he and God are one. And he said it in uh, John 17, 20, and he prayed for it passionately. And if it was not possible, he would have been uttering every word he said in vain, uh, as if he didn't even know it was possible, not possible. And I, the latter-day Daniel, I'm confident that uh, his word now offers all people of peace a whole lot more love to be pumped out than anything else ever recorded throughout all of history. So please reserve all of your opinions of this word of love's finish, which shall never really end. Therefore, let the jubilee of love begin and let the celebration never end as our festival of our Prince of Peace's most benevolent flood of love hits the world along with his adoration's most passionate clarity for absolutely all of his children. Believers or not, it rains on the just and the unjust alike, and so does his love fall likewise therein. So let the party begin for an unending celebration that can finally begin as that good shepherd over all the flocks of God. Uh, his words of John 10, 16. This is the one world religion of Chrislam. Isaiah 62, 2. It is the name that he has given Israel after they received their kingdom age new covenant. 
and he's speaking his love now over all of his awaiting flock, and they shall hear his voice of unconditional love as they begin to obey his gentle call, as he calls each by name as if they were the only one. We're all so special. We all deserve a Mickey and a Minnie. So be as little children. Let that love flow again, people. And if his people will heed his love, they'll be discovering that they've always been loved by him as if they really were the only one that was lost from the other 99. And he goes, he's the good shepherd. He goes after the lost. And the wise who were foretold in Daniel 12, 3, shall agree that I am in no way making empty promises, says the spirit of prophecy. For that cause, his people of love will begin shining with the combined brightness of the stars, as, as Daniel of the lion's den foretold for this Joshua generation. Uh, at, at, at the end of uh, the age of grace and the beginning of the kingdom age is where we're at. So please uh, subscribe again and uh, share this with others. And I pray that everyone's hearts are filled with much more overflowing love than our spirit of prophecy's love will be describing as living waters of Christ's most passionate love that's now being released as a floodgate opening above because he's going to pour it out upon all flesh, as the prophet Joel foretold. Uh, and Joel 2.16 foretold that. For Emmanuel, our God with us, is now releasing his most passionate spirit of love as a tsunami of his very best wishes and a flood of hope for his kingdom age ahead because the age of grace has now been cut short uh, by Elijah. As Isaiah, Esau, Yeshua, Jesus said exactly those words in Matthew 24, 22. And his Elijah would come first and restore all things, Matthew 17, 11. So let the Lord's love cover you as a blanket of everlasting adoration. As the water of love ripples all around the circle of earth, so his revealed glory of love may cover it as waters cover the seas, as grass covers the land, and as lilies of love covers all the ponds of earth. And this program has been written by Daniel and Trudy Owsley's passion, and we put it all together. And she sends it forth as a gently uh, blown kiss of Christ's fondest desire for all of us to come together as one. So thank you, Trudy, for all your hard help. And uh, uh, we'll get excited at uh, Trudy rising in these videos because she's got some really decent good things to say. Uh, for these are the days of the fulfillment of Christ's most passionate prayer of John 17, 20, that we would all become as one. And he knew he was sending us unity through his kingdom age, new covenant for all mankind. And it was addressed correctly to all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27 says, so all flesh, I am God of, says the Lord. So he was never the Lord of Christians. <laughs> and the covenant was always a covenant of blessing. And the early Christians, they demonized everybody except them because they twisted the words of the kingdom age covenant all around and they took it out of place and they committed identity theft. Bottom line, we are Israel. No, they weren't. <laughs> uh, but uh, this program now is presenting uh, the dreaded one world religion of East Yeshua Jesus exactly as he foretold in John 10, 16 people. And that carpenter of the ages now arises as the son of love over everyone because as it's written in Jeremiah 32, 27, that roaring lion of Zion is roaring out his benevolence and his most tender mercies from Jerusalem as he proclaims this, he says, I am love. And exactly as 1 John 4, 7 says, those who love have been born of me and I am the Lord God Almighty, the most high God over all mankind, as it is written. So may blessings, glory, and honor now be sent to all nations together with hope from hope, mercy from mercy, and the greatest joy from joy, capital J, that is his name. 
For these are the foretold days of the vision of Habakkuk 2, King James manifesting, so that the most glorious light of love's most radiant glory can finally force all darkness of all undesirable bad religion and scary shadows to flee away by love's blinding light of glory. Only now can our fast-rising son of love from Isaiah 60's kingdom age prophecy now shine as his word manifests herein. And for that cause, all superstition shall now be wiped away because all things are obsolete in comparison to this kingdom age word of love. As multitudes of the ignorant become masters of love's truest truth of blessings for all. I am Daniel, the interpreter of prophecy foretold in the Dead Sea Scrolls. For it is written therein, it'll come to pass that the interpreter promised by Daniel would be giving the misunderstood true meaning of ancient prophecies. That's what restoration means. In Acts 3.21, uh, when it says that uh, all things must be restored, that means something as it was before. And Jeremiah was 700 years before Jesus. No, I've got it all correct, people. Because that's what God meant. Uh, and it would be veiled until the, these latter days, exactly as Daniel's last sentence of the book of Daniel foretold. In the latter days he would arise. And it's written in the Thanksgiving Psalms of those Dead Sea Scrolls that the very last interpreter of love's word of foretellings says the spirit of prophecy would come. So please listen to my video called The Thanksgiving Psalms of Elijah Prophecy. Again, it's called the Thanksgiving Psalms of Elijah Prophecy. So you can hear this. And so that you can discover that all covenants of mankind have all been worthless. <laughs> exactly as Hebrews 8 and uh, Isaiah 49, 8, long ago foretold by the Spirit of our Ancient of Days, who always knew the end of our struggle from the beginning of it, w w even before we were ever created. And the Lion of Zion is now roaring out his love for all people as his one world religion of love arises that he himself clearly foretold for these latter days in John 10, 16. And for that cause, he's now releasing the strongest Shekinah glory of love as a blanket of healing all over earth's circle for he is the director of heaven. And the alarm against the vile diseases of physical and spiritual racism rings loudly. And our Creator alone now sends us the cure that will sweep the lands and sweep the world. For these days of Elijah foretold by Jesus in Matthew 17, 11, are ones of his, his answers for any questions that went way over everyone's closed minds. This is the most momental, monumental time of our lover of the ages. For as Isaiah 64 told, he's now exploding as God's brightest son of love over absolutely all people of the world, as Jeremiah 32, 27 foretold, so that all gross darkness can finally shatter and return back to hell from whence it came, as Daniel 12, 7 clearly foretold. So we shall now see a demonstration of the Lord's healing power through hope's uh, vision come alive again for everyone paying attention unto the word of love. So people, these are times uh, to exalt love. If we don't have that, we don't have nothing at all. I've weeped over this world being uh, a loveless world. And if you want to see me weeping, I got a one video I left crying my eyes out. I was a little intoxicated at the time, but guess what? Um, I'm drinking always under safe levels for the most part. Uh, the safe level, 25 drinks a week for an alcoholic, that's doing pretty darn good. And uh, I only drink every three days, and uh, so that's it. So uh, uh, the Lord has given me a promise of preservation in Isaiah 49 uh, so that I can be around a little while because this world needs what I'm given. 
time given the kingdom age new covenant that's going to bring 1,000 years of peace on earth. And if people will not quit ignoring me, they're not going to have it at all. And it'll all go down the sink and we'll, then we'll have Mark of the Beast and then we'll have uh, Armageddon and uh, that future would unfold exactly as it's written.